Hey, what's going on guys? Mess with Reverts here, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about the recent leak that a remastered version of Call of Duty 4 is going to be coming along with Infinite Warfare. Now, I want to talk to you guys about whether or not Infinity Ward will change the game a bit and make it more community friendly. And I also want to talk to you guys about competitive support for Call of Duty 4 on next-gen consoles. But over the past couple days now, a lot of people on Twitter and Reddit were saying that there should be some changes to the game. Like, for example, I saw some people say they wanted Frag Times 3 taken out or Martyrdom removed and Last Stand and a bunch of other stuff removed out of the game because... It wasn't that uh, community friendly, I guess you can say, with uh, uh, with everyone, because it made a lot of people rage, especially Martyrdom. But I really don't think Infinity Ward is going to make some major changes to the game, because it's supposed to be a remastered version of Call of Duty 4. And if you start taking out little things like that, then it's going to totally change Call of Duty 4. And uh, to be honest, those cheap perks or weapons are really what made the game so popular, so I really don't think Infinity Ward is going to add some major changes to the game. But I could really see them adding some minor details to the game, like for example, a game winning kill cam for S&D, or hit detection tuning little adjustments like that I could definitely see happening but for me I really don't want the developers to touch the game too much because then you're gonna have a totally new game like I said but again little things like graphical enhancements and uh, stuff like that I really wouldn't mind at all now in regards to competitive support I could definitely see people running wagers money aids UMG tourneys and uh, stuff like that I remember back in the day that competitive Call of Duty 4 was really big and I remember since uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2 there was this site called Pro Mods that would host games on Call of Duty 4 and that was pretty successful now how pro mods worked was uh, it was basically a mod for PC and you would download this mod and you could play on their little hosting site and I think that all, every four members on your team had like a role there's a sniper uh, someone running an AR or SMG like basically stuff like that it was a little bit more uh, organized than what we see today so pro mods was uh, pretty interesting I remember watching some of those games back in the day and uh, <laughs> the little nostalgia feeling is coming back to me so Call of Duty 4 could definitely have a lot of competitive players play that game instead of an infinite and warfare and that's really one thing that I was afraid of I was talking to my friend lights the other day and we were saying that a bunch of people could probably switch over to Call of Duty 4 if they don't like infinite warfare and I don't know if that tear is gonna be healthy because you're gonna have one side of the community that wants to watch and play Call of Duty 4 gameplay and you're gonna have the other side that wants to watch and play infinite warfare so that was my fear but I might be overthinking this a little bit now I was talking to my friend lights like I said and I could see some youtubers switching over to Call of Duty 4 gameplay instead of infinite warfare and I don't know if that tear is gonna be healthy because you're gonna have one side of the community that wants to watch and play Call of Duty 4 and you're gonna have the other half that wants to watch and play Infinite Warfare so that was my fear but I might be overthinking this a little bit but I could also see some YouTubers switching over to Call of Duty 4 gameplay instead of Infinite Warfare so that's gonna be pretty interesting to see what's gonna happen this year in regards to media but uh, for competitive like I said I could even see some LAN events coming in 2016 or 2017 so guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments you guys think that uh, there's gonna be competitive support for Call of Duty 4 and also let me know if you guys would want the developers to touch the game do you guys want them to add some stuff do you guys want them to take out some stuff let me know your thoughts down in the comments guys thank you for watching i'm reverts have a great rest of the day till next time i'll catch you guys later